Welcome to the theater of magic. Seven o'clock. Magic. Eight o'clock. Hocus pocus. Nine o'clock. Packed magic. Ten o'clock. Vanquish the chain. Eleven o'clock. You must break through. Midnight madness. Tiger song. <laughs> Mystifying. Unbelievable. Spectacular. The theater awaits. G'day guys, welcome to the Theatre of Magic. My name is Greg, how are you guys doing? Today we are not going to be doing a whole lot of fix up videos and all that sort of stuff and getting our hands dirty. Instead we are going to play some games finally. Which means we're going to go through MAME and we're going to go through all the games starting with the letter A. And uh, we'll flick through them pretty quick. And if we find a flyer that looks sort of pretty interesting we might have a chat about that. Maybe flick into the game or maybe there's you know an odd game along the way that we want to have a quick look at we'll do that so all today is about just experimenting and having a look at some of these games and just enjoying some of these old flyers because some of them are just an absolute crack up because it's just you know a 80s themed type of material and uh, it's amazing how the world has moved on since then. Let's get in and look at the A list in MAME and see what's going on with some of these flyers. Right, so what I'll do guys is uh, we'll have a look at the games one by one very quickly and some of these will have flyers and some of them won't and this one doesn't actually have a flyer or a marquee. But uh, anyway, so we'll flick through AD 2083. Don't actually really know that game at all. AB Cop Airbike. Now I do remember this game. This game was pretty, pretty cool. Great little cab there. And that flyer isn't actually too hot in terms of... Uh, of quality but I have played that game over the years it was fairly fairly popular sort of game and a pretty cool game you know using that sort of um, graphics from from Outrun at the time Abs Scam never heard of it you heard of that guys have you played this game that looks a, bit, a little bit weird not sure if I want to play it or not we don't have a flyer or a marquee for that one let's keep going Ace <laughs> Now how basic is this? Look at this. But this is a 1976 game. So, you know, what can you expect? We're in the era, era just after Pong. And look at this cabinet. So it looks like you fly around, have uh, two joysticks each. Do that sort of flight mode, a bit like those tank games of the time. So uh, that's pretty cool. No marquee for that one. But yeah, look, it's a very basic game, right? Ace Attacker, it's like a overhead of volleyball type of game. We don't have any marquee or flyer for that. It's pretty hard to get these games, guys, to sort of translate well, don't you think? These sort of volleyball type games, I've never really found one that's been that great. Ace Driver, and of course we've got the uh, multi uh, setup here with uh, multiple drivers they can all play at once um, they're awesome those style of racing games for sure a bit more of a modern one there's victory lap and the same sort of style and again we've got uh, same sort of setup in terms of being able to link multiple cabs ace driver from namco 1996 what else we got here Acrobat Mission, a bit of a faded uh, a marquee, and uh, the flyer isn't that crash hot in terms of quality. Looks like a typical sort of shmup from Tato, no less, 1991. Dogfight, <laughs> acrobatic dogfight. Look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. This looks like something cross between, um, you know, Snoopy and his plane and Time Pilot doesn't it <laughs> that is really bizarre i don't have a flyer for that one uh next one here we have got act um razor now this actually looks like a pretty pretty cool game and some of you guys may may have already played this i'm sure 1992 by enix um and it looks that looks actually like a pretty pretty sweet game the fly here uh isn't oh this is a double flyer it's got like super soccer on the other side nintendo game actually here so maybe uh this was sub license was it 
um, maybe originally in a 10 day game or and then licensed to NX or the other way around. Act Fansar and this is from Data East and a similar sort of uh, game and look at this um, oh, quite a nice marquee here but also really nice fly artwork that's pretty sensational. Next up we have Action Fighter and a few little games like this where you you know shoot and drive along looks like uh, on a little motorbike in this case not one that I remember we've got uh, cool artwork there the next game we've got here is Action Hollywood now this actually looks sort of pretty different pretty cool again not one I've played picking up coins overhead sort of style play it's like fairly decent graphics. It's a 1995 game. Well, we have a quick check of this and see what it's like.
actually a bit of a fun game. You could uh, try playing this uh, with some friends, especially smaller kids. They actually uh, quite like this game, a little trackball game. It's just chucking the, uh, the horseshoes up. So, um, you know, typical game of, of, uh, of horseshoes. So that's pretty cool. Okay, well this one is pretty neat, guys. The American Speedway. This looks really like a uh, updated sort of sprint graphics um, type of game. You, you know I love the sprints. And you can see here it's got the uh, steering wheels very much like a championship sprint. What a cool game that is. American Speedway. Definitely going to have to get into that at some stage. We won't play that one tonight though. Now a Merry Darts is something that I know, I see people sort of buy these cabs and then you know convert them or get rid of the PCBs and stuff but funnily enough I sort of, I, I don't know what it is, I just like this game. <laughs> I do. We'll just hop in here a minute. And look at the look at the flyer here. <laughs> How cool is this? This is cool. This is this is just our first crusade. It says, it says it's, and it's funny because it's it, says, it says it's vertical and it says it's horizontal. So obviously you could set up the game to play in both modes. Let's check it out. I mean darts games, guys. I mean how how good can they be? All right, let's um, let's do the some different ones here. Let's do the flash one. And look, you can do right up to four players. So it's a cool little game just to you know have a few drinks and so you move yourself around and then push the button when you want to aim and then flick it in. Now I'm supposed, I'm supposed to get it where it flashes, so I've sort of got to go for one of these. Um, and I'm doing doing pretty pretty poor but the action for actually doing the um, the dart throwing is is pretty cool that was just out that was actually crap aiming I get it when the flash comes through I mean this particular mode is probably not the best one it's probably better to do like it there you know just a typical darts um, But it's sort of a, you know, it's a bit of a technique to just get that right amount of spin. I mean, you can aim like exactly where you want it, but if you sort of spin slightly off, you're not going to get there. So there's a bit of practice. I'm just trying to go for the ball to show you how hard it is. But, um, you know, you don't have a dartboard. <laughs> is it the next best thing? Well, <laughs> I'm getting consistent now. Oh, well, that'll be right. There we go, right in the bullseye there. Because I'm not getting it when the blue flash comes on, but... Come on, I'm getting one. There we go, nice. <laughs> so, yeah, I think this game's sort of better off, um, as I said, doing sort of the more typical darts uh, type of game, but still good, guys. I think um, check that out. Got a funny thing here at the end too. There's normally a girl who walks across, um, which is quite. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> wow, changes into some. Okay, <laughs> changes into some Viking gear. All right, cool. Let's get back to the menu. Next up, Amadar. I remember seeing this is a Konami game. Uh, I remember seeing this around, you sort of got to join up the uh, the boxes, a fairly basic game again from 1981, so and again they're starting to test all the different types of game dynamics. Androjunus, this is a Neo Geo game, well you Neo Geo fans out here will know this game well, and uh, pretty nice flyer. Kicking, kicking graphics there, that's for sure. Awesome. I look forward to uh, getting that on the Neo Geo too. Angel Kids, never heard of it. <laughs> Have you? Angel Kids, interesting fly. So sort of, a, so it's a Jaleco game and sort of Japanese anime style. Um, 
What an interesting sort of looking game. Isn't that? Up the beanstalk. Animal, animal andia. Okay, so typical whack-a-mole type game. No flyer for that one. Anteater, this is a classic from 1982. And um, yeah, an interesting sort of game. I, I didn't really get into this one a lot. Convert to profit. But uh, some of you guys out there might be closet anteater fans. Apache 3. Helicopter. Style 3D graphics. Tatsumi. Is this one under license as well? Data East, it looks like. Yep. Pretty cool, uh, cool fly there too. Looks like the, the main version doesn't have all the graphics working properly, or at least on the video. All points bulletin APB, we've talked about this before because we have one of these machines, or at least the carcass of one <laughs> in the theater, as you well know. We have that cabinet, uh, the LAI version though, but not the actual game. And yeah, we, we you know I gave it a go in one of the earlier episodes and mm, I'm still, don't think I like it that much. <laughs> Apu, <laughs> a wrestling game. Uh, it's got a fly, but it's not great. Aqua, Aqua Jack, and it's, I have seen this before. Another cool little 3D game, and uh, 1990 from Taito. So it's, it's again one of those earlier ones where. Uh, they started using the sort of pseudo 3D graphics outrun style. Aqua Jet from 96. Sort of wave racer type uh, type games. And look at the size of the cabinet on the skies. You know, these are the ones that just take up a monster amount of room. And again, those backlit, backlit uh, projector screens, which always have, you know, would have failed by now. 1996. Pretty cool looking game. Aquarium. It's like uh, one of those typical sort of uh, puzzle type of games. No flyer with that one. Arabian. This is a classic from 1983. Uh, it's the marquee and very sparse looking uh, flyer. But some of you might recognise that uh, that classic cabinet. This game was out, out and about quite a lot back in the day. Arabian the Fight. It's a typical fighting game. It's uh, Japanese uh, writing there. To get the Google Translate out to understand it. Arabian Magic. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Arabian magic. Reclaim the peace once taken by the evil one. <laughs> right. Well, I reckon we should have a little crack at this. See what this is like. Right. Player select. Who can I select? Huh? Got Lisa, Sinbad, Ashriel, Rasid. Hmm. Sinbad. Hey. Gotta have some bad, right? Got a time thing here. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Check things around. Picked up the lamp. Oh, that's the magic. Where's the magic? Show me the magic. Hit that button. No. Trying to work out where's my. Oh, that's it there. Okay. Just one. Oh, all right. Here we go. So now I'm the. Ah. That's. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Oh. Side-scrolling little uh, beat-em-up, really. These are sort of fun. These are fun just to hack around on. The only thing with these is that, that if they do have the continue, then, you know, it's sort of the longevity of the game is limited. Obviously got two players, you can 
place it with a friend, this would be pretty cool. Okay, just fell down a hole. Interesting. Ooh, nice lots of jewels. Okay. Some sort of power up that I picked up in there. I need to pick those dudes up too. I want to do that big power move again. I'll do that. Can I do it again? No, I don't think I've got the necessary. What do I need to do that move? Oh, okay, well that was <laughs> that was pretty silly. So yeah, this isn't bad guys. This one this one might be worth worthy of uh, a bit more playtime. It's obviously one of the bigger bosses. Spawned off a few the little guys. Just standing around. This dude's pretty big. Hey. Okay. Oh, we'll head back to the menu. That's uh that's pretty cool. What's next? Ah, uh, Ballesta. Another shoot em up, no flyer. RK Classics, this is the uh, mix up or mash up, updated version of Missile Command and Super Cent Centipede. In fact, if you haven't played this, guys, you should. If you like those originals, then, uh, then this updated version is very, very cool, I must admit. And check that one out, RK Classics. Arch Rivals, pretty popular basketball game. I think probably a lot of you are aware of that. Pretty cool flyer, lean, mean, profit machine. <laughs> Some cool artwork there. Valley Midway, 1989. This came out at the same time, didn't it? Around the NBA, it was in competition with it. Area 51. Popular uh, gun game. And call marquee. Fire. The truth is in there. Those games are pretty cool. I, I do like the gun games now. I'm warming to them. Another one, Duo Maxim, Area 51. Area 51, Site 4. No video by the looks of things. I've got a pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting flyer. The future is in your hands. Your future. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Can't pronounce that. Something 88. Again, I need to get out the uh, need to get out of Google Translate. Translate the flyer. Must do that actually at some stage. Google Translate's just awesome. We can just point it at the picture and it all translates beautifully. Side scroller, shoot them up. Argus, 1986. Looks like a fairly basic, uh, again, scrolling, shoot them up. A nice flyer. It's pretty cool. Argus. No, I don't know. It looks like a dude. It looks like a Superman. <laughs> it's definitely a superhero. Interesting. Chalico game. Well, Gottlieb actually, 1984, so probably licensed out to Chalico one way or the other. Arian Mission. Another vertical uh, shooter, no flyer. This Arc Arena, or Arc, sorry, Arc Area. No fly for that one. Arkanoid, everyone knows Arkanoid, surely. Absolute classic. And it's really good, you know. It was the, the change of the, the typical breakout and making it just a lot, a lot sexier. Arkanoid 2. Always found it 
bizarre how it was called Revenge of oh! <laughs> of DOH. That's pretty cool. Cool artwork, but yeah, great game. Look at that, ballistic. Get into some of this action, guys, if you can. Got yourself a spinner. Great game to play. And, uh, and again, Arkanoid Returns, which again, pretty awesome. That whole series is awesome. We've got Arlington Horse Race. Interestingly with this, it's really just a gambling game. <laughs> you just select the horse you want. It's quite fun though with a few people, again if you're having a few drinks you can just sort of basically bet on a horse and watch the race. <laughs> um, you don't really do much more than that on this particular game if I remember. It's not like some of the other, like, um, what's it, not Final Lap, is it Final Lap or one of those Gallop, Gallop 1 or I can't remember now but there's some other horse racing games out there that you can actually uh, do a lot more on. Arm um, Champs. This was the one that actually had guys that, um, you know, you actually had to arm wrestle <laughs> the robotic arm. How cool is that? Look at that beast. <laughs> Crazy. Not a, not a good game to really play in MAME, obviously. It doesn't translate well. Cool graphics, but... Um, wrestling. And, uh, you know, from... Nintendo, of course, who bought Punch-Out, which has a similar sort of style graphics. Um, but this one was very much control-based. Look here. To uh, do, the, do the wrestling. I think I, and this was the one that I remember playing. Um, that was pretty fun back in the day. Formation, arm death. Another shmup. Worthwhile looking at the... Um, got this on the uh, Astro City, actually. And uh, yeah, look at this for artwork on the fly, that's just awesome. And guys, this is why I love this main setup so much in terms of just exploring the games, exploring the art, and trying out new, new ones and you know, seeing what works and what doesn't and what I might want in a dedicated cab. Now this is pretty unique. These armored armored attack. So this is 1980. So we're right at the start again of the uh, gaming golden age of gaming. And the cool thing about this game is that, like a lot of those games back in the early eras, were actually used real, you know, overlays and stuff to make up for the lack of graphics. So let's just pop in here and have a look at this game. I mean, how cool! How cool is this? So of course, you know, they program it to know where, you know, where the overlay is and then the tanks move around it. I mean, it's just a great way to get around having, you know, limited graphics. Some crazy sort of controls. Whoa, okay. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit hard to sort of control the, uh, the little car. Whoops, oh geez, I get stuck on the, um, I'll tell you what, those helicopters are. So I guess you go through the helicopters, just got to avoid the fire. But I must admit, this, this control scheme might need sorting out. <laughs> but anyway, guys, isn't it cool? Isn't this sort of thing cool? This is the sort of stuff that we, if you've got the original game, you know, it's just so cool to have that. Um, because, you know, it was just a very unique way. You know, it's a bit like the old Space Invaders where they've got the background and stuff. It just adds an extra dimension to the play and you really sort of need the real cabinet to, to really experience it because this, this probably had a lot more depth uh, perception in it. All right, let's be, head back to the menu. Armoured Car. Uh, quite a popular game with uh, a lot of people. Not one that I really played a lot, but I know a lot of uh, a lot of people do. Got a unique looking uh, cabinet there, sort of Japanese sun style in the back. Rather unique that is, isn't it? But yeah, I don't think it's a hugely exciting game. Armored Warrior, sort of a mech style game. Some uh, pretty cool artwork, 1994, and 
and a nice marquee from Capcom. It's like a pretty cool game. Tournament golf. Well, what do you got to say about these early golf games? They're all pretty similar. Uh, of course, Golden Tee being the most uh, most famous out of all of them. Arrow Flash, side scrolling shoot 'em up. Sega. Well, pretty uh, basic sort of fly, just showing key screens from different games. Actually, Altered Beast and Outrun. Go back up here and have a look. Um, Great Golf, Super Thunder Blaze, so they were just really selling a whole load of different different games of the era. Art of Fighting, well, what can we say about this? This is a classic on Neo Geo. And at the flyer here, I'm sure some of you guys experts on this game, guys that love the fighting, out of Fighting 2, sequence continues. <laughs> Path of the Warrior, Out of Fighting 3. Ashura Blaster. Okay, a little shmup. Nice marquee. Nice colorful flyer, nice artwork. That's really cool. But yep, just another shmup of the mini. Armoured scrum object. Hmm, another shmup. <laughs> and we've got some pretty cool artwork on the fly there too. Assault. Lay siege to your competition with Assault, the newest lethal weapon from Atari Games. Look at this cab on here. That's a, that cab had some top end on it. <laughs> cool controls too. For a tank game. Again, one of those ones that you just really would like to experience the real cabinet. Really get the most appreciation out of it. Asterix, I used to go through the comic books and that. You remember the Asterix comics? It's got a pretty basic flyer. Asteroids, well we can't say <laughs> can't say too much about asteroids. Absolute classic, everyone knows it. Asteroids Deluxe. Again, another classic. And of course this one's got the um, this one uses that good uh, overlay or the background, sorry, um, with the black light. And in MAME you can get it to a certain degree. Let's just pop in here and, and have a look at it. You know, you can sort of get a bit of the the, the effect. Um, you will probably won't be able to see the bullets because I can hardly see them. <laughs> but you know, I mean, just you just can't create. I mean, this has got the bloom and stuff. You know, some of those mame effects to make it look a little bit more like a vector. And it doesn't do a bad job, but you know, this doesn't look any, anything like the real machine with the real not cool backlight in the background and. You know, that just absolutely makes it a real cabinet, is really what you need, but awesome game. Astra Superstars, looks like a pretty cool game. Tecmo, Sunsoft, I've played this before, I can see my high school here previously. Cool graphics on the flyer. And just one of those great Japanese fighting games. Astro Battle, like a little bit golf. I don't know, I don't lot really like that. You know, with the golf and games like this, they have these blue backgrounds for sort of space. <laughs> it's like make it black. It just looks so much better. Astro Blaster. Okay, check this out, guys. If we uh, have a look at this flyer. What is going on here? What is going on? How cool is that? Had the sound with the voices. What's going on here? We got the girl at the back, the guy overlooking that, girl on skates. What's this guy doing here? He got uh, this guy crawling underneath. 
this guy looks like he's pushing magazines. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Uh, this guy's like, look okay, how he's like so glued to the screen. And just everyone looks like they're just absolute amazement, except for the girl at the back. He doesn't look that impressed. <laughs> She's not getting any attention, I guess. <laughs> Maybe is that it? I don't know. It's probably politically incorrect. <laughs> But uh, yeah, for all that, the game really doesn't look that amazing. Well, having said that, I think I have played this before and it's not too bad. This fuel, it's got a fuel thing, hasn't it, Tim? Yeah, but anyway, moving on, we have Astro Chase. The funny thing about this one, guys, is that this is the like the Atari... You know, the 8-bit um, version. I used to have this on my Atari 800. And there was some um, arcade machines that were released by Exidy. And they actually literally had just the Atari hardware inside them hooked up to a coin Mac um, to play this game. But yeah, this, this screen in particular was the one that was always in the magazines. And I always used to think, wow, that looks amazing. Astro Fantasia. Oh, look at this for a fly, guys. Check this one out. That's ultra cool. Your battle in the Astro Zone comes to an exciting climax when the giant Astro Gorn appears. <laughs> Six direct hits to destroy. That is really, really cool. I like that artwork. Astro Fighter, and another one with a blue background. Now what's going on here guys with this flyer here? Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. It's just standing there shooting the breeze. Astro Fighter, 1979. And again, very sort of golf style like. Astro Invader. Now this is a game that was actually also called Kamikaze and Kamikaze was the name that I remember it, remember it by. But up on the flyer it's interesting because it does say and this was a Stern game and it says it's Astro Invader may be our very first video game. Um, but uh, proven to be successful. Now yeah, I, I kind of couldn't remember if this was their first game but clearly it is. I didn't realise it was in terms of this particular game. As I said, I've always known it as Kamikaze, and I think that might have been when it was licensed. Or maybe, maybe they, no, it does say it's their game, so I'm sure they didn't license it from Taito, who knows, but anyway. Very, very cool game. Let's have, just have a quick, quick go. Nice with the artwork here, isn't it, guys? But this is um, just a classic, classic game. I remember playing this a lot. You know, this was this came out around the Space Invaders sort of time. You got to, you know, it's got the spacey, spacey sound, right? Got to get that guy because otherwise he'll put a big bomb right across the bottom and get you. Can't let him land. And really, I mean, it's a sort of a a simple concept, but like most of the sort of addictive games, whoops. These guys put out a little spray so you can't get too close. And then I've got to get this guy. Wow. That was lucky. It starts getting pretty hard. If you miss them like that. So yeah, this, this, if you haven't played this game, guys, give it a shot. Because it's one of those ones that um, you actually have to build up a bit of a bit of skill. You've got to get those, you've got to get those shots dead on. Oh. I had to get across there otherwise he was gonna he was gonna come down and you don't have like super fast firing either so it gets pretty tough <laughs> that's 20 cents gone in a flash right but yeah cool game definitely check that out what's next astro warrior hmm looks fairly basic got a fairly cool uh fly here eh, it's not too bad it's a bit basic Next up, Astro Wars, out in space. Now, this one here was, this is a Zachariah game, yeah. Check this out, because the Zachariah cabs, if any of you guys have got a Zachariah or have seen them in the flesh, these cabinets are just awesome. Look at that, it's got the 
um, circular sort of style marquee, much like an APB machine, but this doesn't really give it justice. I know these cabinets just look just so good, and of course their pinball machines too are just absolutely awesome. Next up, Ashuka Ashuka. Hmm, it's a typical little uh, shmup. Uh, some cool, cool jets on the fly. Potato game 1988. Again, not one that I'm uh, I'm familiar with. Sure blade. Good fighter. Sword of Destiny. Very cool. Loving that artwork. Asylum. No fly for this one. Leland Corp. Interesting little game that one. Atari Baseball. The good old black and white. And uh, see up on the fly here. Had the big trackball cocktail end to end. Uh, that was uh, that was pretty cool. Again, just the, the nice cabinet experience. Same with uh, Atari Football. Uh, early black and white. 1978 again similar style on the trackball cocktail set up head to head uh, so you see these around a lot in the uh, in the US haven't seen them over here in Australia at all but very very basic and then this one here is crazy because it's a sort of a you know from 1980 so they got better so the graphics sort of picked up a little bit still black and white um, <laughs> this is for soccer, so very, very basic. But the cool thing here, guys, was that it was a four player table with four trackballs. Look at that! Now, that would just be a cool cabinet to have, wouldn't it? Four trackballs. Wish there was more games that sort of supported that. Anthena to Anthena, I think it is. Got a female, uh, got a heroine character. That looks pretty cool, actually. SNK, interesting uh, flyer. Who am I? <laughs> I'm Anthena, heroine with miracle power. Come and join me for fantastic adventure. Mm -hmm. And next up is Atomic Punk. This is pretty crazy. Irene game. Cool artwork on the fly here. How's that? That is cool. License from Hudson Soft, no, no less. Let's have a bit of a go at this. Okay, bit of sound. In the year 2091 too far away these days is it <laughs> okay oh we can lay bombs right I guess I blow up those what am I doing here okay right whoops oh okay right so if I do that can I do anything else in terms of firing or anything, or I'm gonna be stuffed when I get these guys. Or oh, I just gotta lay the bomb. Oh, okay, so it's sort of. Yeah, right. I guess that's how you do it. Okay. Ah, bugger. Interesting uh, sort of game dynamic. Come back here. Got him. Okay, is that all you sort of got to do? Oh yeah. Okay, well that's pretty different. Probably again one of those games that if you sort of play it for a while, almost like a puzzle game, right? It might be pretty cool actually. Uh oh, like that, and you get stuck. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's get back to the mini. Atomic Robo Kid. This looks pretty cool. 
There was a game called um, Droll, which had a similar sort of dude, but the graphics were nowhere near as good on the old Atari. For some of you Atari nuts, I think it was on the Commodore as well. So, um, but yeah, nothing like this sort of graphics. 1988. Looks pretty cool. A Ural? Is it Ural? Um, fairly basic sort of game. Don't have a, uh, a fly for that. Avalanche. This was a um, pretty popular Atari game back in the day. 1978 again. Really cool flyer. Look at that artwork on there, guys. That's just so good. So classic Atari stuff. You know, a bit like Kaboom when it came out, um, Activision on the VCS. Um, oh, I think this game obviously came out first, did it? Probably did. Avengers, Capcom. We got some serious high kicking going on here on the flyer. That's a super high kick. It's actually got Avenger. Oh, Capcom, and it's got Avengers on the, uh, on the title here. We've got another Avengers, but a different one, Galactic Storm, like a superhero game. Data East, Cool Fly. Awesome. Avenging Spirit. This actually looks like a pretty cool game. And we're almost at the end of our, uh, our A-list. How about we give this one a shot? Yeah, it's a Leco game. I called you here, we could probably get past that. Okay, which one? This dude. Use the A button to attack, B to jump. Hopefully I'm supposed to shoot those dudes. Alright. Okay. Oh, we've got sort of like Donkey Donkey Kong style. <laughs> Was it going to come back? Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Got some more arrows showing where I need to go. Whoops. Cool graphics. And yeah, this is where the style of graphics, like especially on a CT CRT, this stuff just looks really, really nice. I mean, I've got fake scan lines on here on MAME and it looks pretty, pretty good, but it just doesn't look anywhere near as nice as when it's on a glowing CRT with all the phosphor glow. Um, but yeah, this, the graphics on this are, are really nice. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to go that way, obviously. Can you, can't get up there. Oh, yep. Whoops. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I can get up there now. Alright, let's go this way. Okay. Doing a pretty noob effort. Noob effort here, guys. Oh, it's a good little game. Yeah, this one deserves some time, I think. Yeah, this is cool. Is this like a little challenge stage, or is this part of the main... Oh, it's a boss. <laughs> this is up the top. I'm not looking around the screen. Interesting boss. Never had a boss like this. Gotta admit. Yeah, I like this. I think this definitely deserves a lot more uh, a lot more playtime. Alright, let's hop back to the menu and uh, just looking at the fly for that one. Avenging Spirit Chilico 1991. Very cool, very cool. And then our last one of the A-list. Zaztarak. Azta yeah, Azta Looks like um, 
some cool artwork on there, 4031 AD. Well, there's a fair few uh, thousand years away from where we are today. And it looks very much like um, a sort of tax scan. It's like a vector game. Oh, I'd just love to have a real vector if I could. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty cool actually. Let's have a bit of a look since it's the last one. Yeah, this, <laughs> this would be cool. If anyone's got this game, like in real life, let me know because I bet you this looks sensational on a vector monitor. We got sound? Yep. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, well, what am I doing? Was that like a hyperspace thing? You want, okay, let me check out the controls here, guys. Um, uh, it's an analog stick. Not a dial analog, so change that to my dial. Wow, that looks cool. But this has probably got two different controllers. I don't actually have the controllers up there, so I can't really see. <laughs> but I love the sounds as well. That starting thing is just crazy good. Oh yeah, so the top, look at that. So the top one's got a little fire. That is so good. That is awesome. But I can't really move can't move forward. I mean, I'm not sure if that's supposed to do that. So guys, if someone has this game or you know how it should play in terms of controls, I mean, it, it, it looks like it needs an, an analog stick as well. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, I wish I could play that now. Oh, well, again, if anyone knows about that game more, let me know, because um, that, looks, that looks cool. I love the start. There you have it guys, at the end of another video and we got through the A-list. It's just cool to explore all these games and explore the graphics and just again sort of see, you know, new games you've never tried before and, you know, that last one, that, that's awesome. And I think if I, if I found that game, you know, in real life in a real cab, you know, that would be an instant pickup. Uh, so again, please do let me know if you know of that game and have seen it in real life. Uh, it really does look like a cool game. So until next time, guys, look after yourselves, play your games and all that good stuff. And of course, ciao for now. You must continue. You can do it. You are amazing. The theater is now closed.